going to design this view meter. So let's get started. For this we need Arduino Mega, this one, we need analog 0 pin and analog 1. For input sound, digital pin 5 and 6 for LED signal and pin number 3 for push button. I am using these pins, you can use another pin. From the left channel. We have to connect a capacitor in series and then it is connected to Arduino. We have to do the same for the right channel. The value is 47 microfarad. I am using this and with this we need two resistors. These are 10 kilo ohms. One resistor is connected to plus 5 volt and another one is connected to the ground. We have to do the same for right channel also. This is input connection. With the pin number 3, we have to connect push button switch and other pin of the switch is connected to the ground. This one pin is connected to data in pin of left channel LED and pin number 6 is connected to the data in pin of right channel LED. These are the pins plus 5 volt data in and ground so this data in pin will be connected to the Arduino pin and plus 5 volt to the plus 5 volt power supply and ground to the ground and we have to see this direction so this LED strip will work from left direction to the right direction and I am using 55 LEDs per channel so after counting 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. this one is 55, we have to cut it here. Now I will solder the pins like this, you have to solder. This red pin will be connected to the plus 5 volt, the black will be connected to the ground and the yellow one is data pin. Okay. So we need two of them. And per channel we have 55 LEDs. So this is how we have to connect this both. Now for this connection. Now see the headphone. We have left channel and the right channel. If you cut it. Then here we will find two wires. And here also wires. The ground wire will be connected to the ground and the other one to the here left and right. This is 3.5 mm headphone jack. As you can see we have three connections. This one is ground, this one is left and the other one is right. So take a 3.5 mm headphone jack and from there you will find three connections one will be ground the other one will be left and right so this left is connected to here and right will be connected to here now I'll show you how I'll connect here Arduino Mega and breadboard this ground pin should be connected to the ground and the 5 volt pin will be connected to positive rail. Here it is push button switch. This ground is connected here. And this pin will be connected to pin number 3. This one channel connection. The black one will be connected to ground rail. It is connected to positive rail. And this yellow one will be connected to pin number 5. The other channel, black one will be connected to ground rail, red one, 
and this yellow one will be connected to pin 6 so here this two is connected to pin number 5 and 6 so LED is connected this is right channel speaker and this white one is positive and the black one is negative with the white I'm connecting this green wire and with the black I'm connecting the blue one I've connected the green pin here with this the positive pin is connected here and the negative pin is connected that side and with the negative I'll connect it to the A1 and also with this 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected with the ground another 10 kilo ohms will be connected to positive rail and the blue pin of this will be connected to here so it is positive pin of the speaker and the negative pin and this is for another channel that is left channel two resistors one is connected to ground another one connected to positive rail and this negative is connected with this and with the positive and with the positive we have to connect it the green pin and with the negative pin of the capacitor we have to connect it to the A0 in blue that is the negative pin of left channel this two sound input power supply the LEDs and the push button switch so this is how we have to connect now I'll paste it on the acrylic sheet like this so this is how I have pasted it and now we have to connect this to the breadboard I have designed a stand for this view meter I'll fit it on this another wooden piece on these two holes I'll put it on this so this will be like this and in these two holes I'll put it here so it will be like this okay Okay, it is done. So connection is completed. These are input audio. These two are LEDs. This one is push button switch. And these are power supply for the LEDs and these are negative pins of the audio program is already uploaded and you can find the program link in the description below now for this project we need 5 volt power supply at least 3 ampere now we have to connect the power supply pin here is the ground and here is the 5 volt pin Now I'm connecting the power supply. Here's the negative and here's the positive. Now it is showing random light styles. It has more than five random styles. You can see it one by one. 
and if you press the push button switch then this view meter will respond according to the audio the input audio Now I'm turning off my lights so that you can see it better. Now it is back to first styles. Pressing the push button switch, here I have pressed. Now the view meter is responding the noise. Now I am playing the audio.
So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.